Welcome to Phil Talks Tech. This is my Ender 3 version 2. I'm going to take you through some of the mods and upgrades I've done since I've had it. Uh, 11 in total. Some of them I've videoed and uh, the, the videos will be posted soon. So you'll be able to see those mods in action. Let's have a look at the printer and some of the things I've done to it. So one of the first upgrades I did was move the power switch from down the back here to the front. So I've upgraded the extruder. So the original is plastic and they do cr crack. So rather than wait for it to break down, I just replaced it straight up. It's just all aluminium. Much better set up. This is one of the next mods I did. Um, moved the SD card. There's a micro SD slot in the front here and I've moved it to a full SD rather than micro SD because these things are tiny and hard to hold on to. So I've converted to an SD card. Cheap mod. Well worth doing, I think. And for Father's Day, I got a Raspberry Pi. What is a Raspberry Pi, <laughs> they ask? <laughs> and so a Raspberry Pi is basically a microcomputer. So it's connected to the printer all the time via USB and it enables you to print remotely. Monitor remotely, um, basically to control the printer from your phone or a laptop, tablet, anything like that. That's a good upgrade. The app I use with the Raspberry Pi is the Spaghetti Detective. It uh, monitors the print and it has an AI built in that will detect if there's a fault and send you a notification to pause the print or keep going. Uh, yeah, I like the. I can keep an eye on my temperatures, make sure the, the hot end and the bed temperatures are nice and even. I've added a side spool mount instead of the top mount that's up here. Yeah, just straight a path for film to flow. It works well with no, no jams and no problems at all. I am planning to make a dry box um, for my filament and I'll probably feed directly from that, so wait for that video. Some of the other mods I'll show you in some of the videos I've shot because um, they're all underneath or inside the printer. So there's a power supply cover mod with electronics bay upgrade with a bigger fan and um, bigger cover. I've changed the main board. Um, there's a dual Z-axis upgrade and, a, and the CR Touch upgrade, which I'll, show, I'll take you through in a video as well. Also, I've, I've changed the, to Jaya's uh, firmware. I'll take you through a video on that as well. Um, that was well worth upgrading. No, um, not much to do there, just download some firmware and update it. Also, I've put raised feet on the printer to give me room for some airflow underneath. My Raspberry Pi, I'm printing them out for that next, as soon as we finish this video, actually. I'm going to print this mount for the last reply. I'll just preheat the printer, get it warmed up, ready to go. Thanks for being with us today. If you like what you saw, why don't you subscribe? Hit the like and ring that bell. I'm Phil, and this is Phil Talks Tech. Breaking news on the Raspberry Pi mount. I changed my mind and decided to just um, put some T nuts and bolts through the housing. There's plenty of clearance inside. So rather than having an oven mount, I just put nuts straight through the housing and into the rail and it's mounted securely, nice and solid, good airflow around it, happy with that.